Hello everyone, this is King Vector 11 with a new video on the exotic exports list, part of the Los Angeles Turners DLC update, in which I believe it is a failed concept. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, I will greatly appreciate it if you do, definitely. And without further ado, let's get into the explanation of why this is a failed concept. First of all, it is completely random. Okay, the cars that spawn are in random set locations at random times in the day which can spawn even across the map if it wanted to or spawn right next to you. Just drive around for 20 minutes after doing a set mission and then a car is going to spawn. In which even behind that a car may not spawn but a sleeping guard is going to take over and spawn over that free mode event. A free mode player event, actually, I should say. So that would mean you have to loot the guards, complete the event, and then you have to do another mission to then let the game know that something's done, so you're now in free mode waiting for an activity to happen. So the activity of a car gonna spawn is gonna happen. In which chances of being that is also randomized too, because even after delivering a vehicle, it happened to me already yesterday, another vehicle could spawn right after, like within five minutes, within three minutes, of me just going to my auto shop, wanting to start another mission, thinking nothing's gonna spawn because I'm done with it, for another car to spawn. It's completely random. With it, with with that even being told, you have to get those random spawning vehicles within 24 hours before the list changes completely. If you want to complete the whole list for $200,000 and about 800 RP, first of all, you need to dedicate a whole day, if not a little less, because by the time the day ends, the list changes. You have to dedicate your whole life and tell your boss, I'm quitting because I have to play this game that's really dedicating my whole life into playing it because it needs me to do something for $200,000. First of all, is it even worth $200,000 when you can literally take half an hour to do just two basic setup things, do a robbery by yourself if you wanted to, to only get $185,000, which is 15 k less for this job than the whole list is worth. Honestly, and then if you really want your actual $200,000, just do a sightseer in between. And then you make more money than this list ever has. Is it even worth doing the list, honestly? Let, let, just let me know what you guys think, honestly, because I believe they did this to really force players into milking their time into playing this game because they've already broken their own statistic of how many times players have logged into the game. Why? Because modders existed, crashed people's games, and people didn't have anything much done because they probably just logged in or they were doing something until their game got crashed. So they got into the game again and five, six, seven attempts later of re-logging in GTA Online calculates that, Rockstar Games calculates that, and says, Wow, we broke our own record of how many times players logged into the game per day. That's why they do nothing about the DDoSers and people who literally break federal crimes in this game. Literal, real federal crimes in this game. To crash your game within your name of what their mod menu has even caught through your external IP. Just for Rockstar to say, Oh, hey, we got more players logging in than ever. Now they have this being released. That has been released for people to dedicate at least 12 hours a day minimum to even have some of the list completed you literally need to have absolutely no life and no care for your own mental and physical health to complete this list for only two hundred thousand dollars where you can literally take half an hour to complete a contract for 185 honestly what do you guys think is more worth let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if you agree with me Please let me know, because that would make me feel great that I actually spoke some sense out of this. Honestly, if this list lasted a whole week rather than just 24 hours, it would make it good. It would make it even some extent more worth than how it is now, because everything's random at random times, at random locations, in random locations, with random cars, after random events, after just doing one job even, one full robbery, 
Because because either you do a robbery of whatever you're doing, and then your driver is going to spawn some 15, 20 minutes later, or you take the whole GTA Online day driving around by yourself, literally nothing else better to do than drive for some event to randomly happen. Total BS waste of time. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you agree with me, please let me know. And I'll see you all in the next one. Because this is not worth... This is beyond a doubt worth more than anything. It's even more worth than Gerald missions that pay 15k doing one. This pays 185. This is more worth it. That's not. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, and enjoy the Duner's DLC update. Except the vehicle list. That's not worth it. Enjoy. Enjoy this. Yeah, enjoy it.